Good morning, everyone. It's another day. It's actually really nice here in Orlando today. I think the high is supposed to be 70. It's like, it's really chilly outside. Um, so as you all know, our hot tub died. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, we called the manufacturer that we bought the tub, which we've had the tub for five years now. So in reality, we've had a really good run, um, but I don't really want to have to you know, throw it away. I'm hoping we can fix it. So, um, so we can't really get another one at this, at this moment in time, but, uh, I did call and they referred me to this, uh, contractor. His name is Dave. So Dave will be coming out today, hopefully to see, uh, what's going on. If it is a circuit board issue, if it's a heater relay issue, Dave was telling me a lot of different things on the phone. So we will see what happens. I'm hoping Dave is the savior of the day and, uh, we have a new, or at least parts ordered to get the hot tub fixed. Thanks, Dave. Okay, Dave has come and gone, our magic uh, spa man. <laughs> um, talk to Dave, they, he believes that there is a, um, the heating element is like the relay between whatever, I don't know, the, anyway, the relay is burned out for our heating element. So basically the tub's getting power, but the relay is burnt out so that there's not power going to the heater and therefore the tub's not heating. It turns on, it does all that, but it doesn't have the heating element part. So Dave took all the parts out of the hot tub and took them with him, <laughs> packed them up in his car, and he's gonna hopefully try to see if we can fix them. Um, I'm really hoping that uh, it's able to be fixed and we're not out of a hot tub because it really is something that Sean really does. It's almost, I would say it's, it's, it's not a necessity, but it really is a necessity for Sean during uh, some of the roughest times of chemo. It allows him to relax, allows his body to relax. I really hope Dave can help us. <laughs> but, you know, it's in Dave's hands right now, so he has all the parts and pieces. I do have to drain the tub and uh, get it all dry so it doesn't just the stagnant water because we don't have any filtration system right now either because we have no parts inside the tub. So that's the latest on the hot tub fiasco. Uh, if it's not one thing, it's another thing. But at least we have cats. Right, Chloe? Yes. Right? Right? That's right. At least we have cats. She says yes. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good how, evening. How are you? How are you? Welcome. That's a big hello from frozen Florida. Yeah, it's you chilly here. Got in the 60s today. <laughs> <laughs> if we had a fireplace, it would be running. No it's joke. like so cold. Kind of miss the cold weather in Nashville, though, and in Tennessee by a day or so, right? Yeah, the cold front came through right after we left, so we missed it. It was 85. Yep, the Floridians brought a hurricane and the heat. Boo hiss. <sighs> well, it's okay. Uh, it's cold here now. It's cold here so now. We're good. Today was a lot of work, a lot of decompression, a lot of, yeah. you know, kind of unwinding from the trip, organizing everything, moving files, archiving files, blah, 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 blah prepping for edits. I did uh, cut two additional vlogs as well, so if you're uh, a, a Sean and Steph Cruise Buddy VIP, uh, you're in the Patreon group, you have just a ridiculous amount of episodes. I think we have between five and seven new episodes for you already. Better, you know, it's going to take a whole week for the public to see it, but you all can see it right now, right? That's right. So, yeah, uh, what else did we do today? Uh... Oh, Dave came! Wow. Out of context, that makes all kinds of sense. So Dave came. our hot tub is roughly, our hot tub's a portable 110. It can go in any outlet. That was because we couldn't afford at the time to run power all the way around the house just to for accommodate for a, for a hot tub. So we yeah. bought, we bought a 100, 110 model. 
Um, so it finally died on us. Now that's five years. Five, years. five and a half years. So I'm not complaining. That was a really good run. And the, the guy's like, yeah, you know, these are kind of cheap, so you're lucky. So um, he came out, some dude named Dave. Dave came out, checked it out, and said, yeah, I might be able to fix it. I might not. So, you know. He believes it is the relay for the heater, that the electrical part of that has been uh, basically fried. Mm -hmm. So he's going to, apparently he has a neighbor <laughs> that, <laughs> are we back in Tennessee again? <laughs> Just walk over to your neighbor's house. He has house a neighbor and... that apparently likes to do electrical work for fun and uh, possibly can fix this for us. Yeah, so if if they can, then we have a hot Go tub. Go Dave! Woo woo! Yeah. So the hot tub is quite healing, especially during it chemo. Is. I hope I hope Dave can fix it. Um, we'll see what, what happens. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hopefully, again, we're we're thinking positively. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we work some more. I just finished up my pictures for tomorrow morning, so, so I finished much work. those up. Uh, we go back to chemo tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Sean and I had a few cries today about um, you know. It's an anxious feeling. It's a feeling of look. I'm kind of over it. Doing it again. I'm sure you're. I'm sure you're over hearing about hearing about it. And I don't blame you. Don't don't lose us as friends. Please hang on. But uh, yeah, I just I feel like I feel like I'm so close that they could switch me onto something else, or, or something less toxic yeah. because yeah. it's been brutal. It's, it's, it's hard. It's it's it is like the max senioritis you could ever possibly have <laughs> like you want to just be finished with this and is this number 14 or 15 do you I know i have to look that up i'm not really sure something like that it's just been going on since march and we're now in november so march april may june july august september october this is month nine of chemotherapy it's been uh it's been a long go yes and we uh we're happy with the progress. Don't get Very. us wrong. We we don't want to interrupt that. That it's just it's a long it's a long haul that we've been through. And um, with Sean just starting to feel good this past week, you don't really want to ruin that. You don't want to go back into it. But we will, and we'll be strong, and we will we will make it through, and we will continue to do what we have to do um, to make it to the other side. To be saying these exact same words again in two or three weeks and saying we don't want to go back into chemo but we are going to fight um sean has his next ct scan will, which is the x-ray will be december 2nd i think is still on the schedule i hope i haven't really checked that again but it was december 2nd so that is the day big day circled on the calendar um because we will finally see how far the tumors have shrunk even more and then we will be able to know how many more chemos Sean will have to have to finalize these tumors being gone. But again, we are very happy with the progress. For sure. We got to travel for the first time in a year. So that's fantastic. Did things that I never thought we would do again. Getting ready to put up the Christmas decorations um, because we also did not think that Sean would be here for Christmas this year. Yeah. So, so we're going to have a little two months of Christmas. Yeah. Could be my last one. Praying that it's not. But they saw, they also said I wouldn't make it to Christmas, so. Yeah. I wonder if there's like a hand gesture that's appropriate for that. <laughs> but no, we are, uh, we're rapidly pushing my, my new first birthday. We're going to call February 24th my new first birthday if we pass that date. And that was when I was diagnosed and given my uh, expiration date, if you will. I can't wait to see the tree and some garland and all the lights. Stephanie does yeah. an amazing Christmas job. I love it. I'm going to go all out this year because I want it to look really pretty. And we'll show you everything as we do it. It's always fun. <sighs> but, um, yeah, it's about 1030. We don't have to get up as early tomorrow. I'm very thankful for that. Uh, Sean's appointment tomorrow is at 1030. Ah, same time, 1030, 1030. Uh, so we're going to leave here at 8. Hopefully we don't hit a lot of traffic. We'll see. I still think a lot of people are, are at home, working from home, so I'm hoping the traffic here in Orlando isn't, oh, screw that, isn't so bad. Oh, isn't so bad. So, 8 o'clock, so we get to actually be a normal day, be my normal wake-up time. I'll get up around 6.30, fix coffee, take a shower, do all that stuff, feed the kitties, and then we'll be off. And I will bring my laptop. I can't wait. Me too. i got to bring my laptop, too. Yeah, I can't wait. Keep yeah. on editing and doing the whatnots. Keep on keeping on. 
Yeah, so we love and adore each and we every do. one of you. Thank you so much for following along on our journey. Thank you for following us along with us on our vacation. Uh, Brittany Watson from Your Perfect Getaway by Brittany Watson. You are forever in our hearts. You're awesome. You're, thank you so much for sponsoring us from way, 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 way back when to now. You're awesome. We hope to travel with you a bunch more times in the future. Yes. Absolutely had the best trip ever. Um, it's refreshing. It's, it's, uh, it's uplifting. I gained almost 20 pounds, which is good because uh, chemo likes to slash and dash that thing. So <laughs> Steph, Steph believes that that's what you do to your animals. If you know they're getting sick, you put a little extra weight on them. So that's right. when they get put on the meds or, or feel ill, they their sick sh weight. shrink down. So yeah, put on some 20 pounds of, si of sick weight, I guess. So. Yep. So you have a little buffer. Yeah. A little wiggle room. That's why I was wiggling. Wiggling. It's a little wiggle room. So wiggle, yeah. wiggle. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Baby. All right. So we'll say good night for tonight. Um, like I said, chemo day tomorrow. So uh, gotta mm. get some good sleep, and we can do this. Gotta wiggle. Gotta wiggle. wiggle. Do it. I think they might kick us out if we walk in. It makes you feel happy. That. Wiggle. Everybody should wiggle. Makes you feel happy. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> All right, everyone. <laughs> You're supposed to sell the meth, not take it. Wow. Why do you say good night? Good night. Oh. Good night, everyone. We love you so much. Have a nice evening and see you tomorrow. Bye.